In this video, I'm gonna show you three ways that you can enhance your single stroke rolls. Let's do it. All right, we're talking single stroke rolls and what you can do to enhance them. But first, if you like the content you see here on my channel and you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and give this video a like, it's much appreciated. Also, if you're new to drumming or you feel like you could just use a little bit of inspiration or maybe there's some gaps that need to be filled in with your basics, head over to drummer101.com, download my free reference guide. It's absolutely free and it's helped a lot of my students out. I know it could help you out too. Back to the single stroke rolls. All right, so the three things that I'm gonna discuss that's going to help your single stroke rolls, they kind of fall under this umbrella term. And that umbrella term is freedom. Now we're gonna talk about freedom of three different things. The first one is dynamics. Dynamics is just simply your volume and how much control you have over your volume of each individual notes. When you're showed the single stroke roll the first day of drum lessons, you're showed right, left, right, left, and there's not really any accents that you're playing or any ghost notes. You're just playing it all at one volume, and it might sound like this. Maybe your teacher will tell you to accent the downbeats, so the first stroke of every right, left, right, left would be accented louder than the rest, loud, soft, 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 which gives you this. But you can go much deeper with the aspect of dynamics in choosing what notes you want to play loud and what notes you want to play soft. So the first thing is you can accent all of your right hand strokes in ghost note, which is play soft, all of your left hand strokes. So you have one loud stroke, one soft note. Just count 16th notes. So you'd have one, e, and, uh, two, e, and, three, e, and. Your right hand is going to be playing the eighth notes and that's going to stick out more than the left hand. Let's check it out. All right, the next thing is do the opposite. Play your right hand soft, your left hand's loud. So the E's and U's of the 16th notes are gonna be loud. One E and U, uh, two E and U. Uh. Here we go. Okay, so you could bounce back and forth and play half measure of right hand's loud, half measure of left hand's loud. One and two and three E and U, uh, four E and U. Uh. So you would get this. All right, so that's nothing you would play as a drum fill. That's more of an exercise that gets your hands used to playing the sticks at different volumes and your ears used to hearing the strokes at different volumes. Once you're more comfortable with the dynamics, you can start to choose where you wanna play the accents and where you wanna play the ghost notes. So I'm just gonna play on the snare drum and move around the accents and kind of shift them around a little bit within the measure. Here we go. All right, so that already is starting to create a little bit more movement with the single stroke rolls. The second thing we're gonna talk about is gonna be freedom of movement. Movement around the drum set and how comfortable you are to be able to play around the drum set and utilize the rest of the kit. So one exercise you can do is play eight strokes, eight single strokes on your snare drum, bring it up to your rack tom, back to your snare, to your floor tom. These are gonna be played as 30 second notes, but we're gonna play it ultra slow, one E and whoops. One E and a one E and a two E and a two E and a three E and a three E and a four E and a four E and a. Let's try it out. All right, you can obviously speed that up depending how fast you can play your singles. Mm -hmm. 
but we're not there yet. We're not talking about speed. We're still talking about movement. This is just something that's going to help you get a little bit more creative with the different sounds. Not only changing the accent placement within the measure, but changing the drum that you play on or the surface that you play on. That's going to train your ear to not only hear the notes in different velocities of volume, but your notes on different surfaces of the drum set. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play just random single strokes, move it around the drum set, and I'm going to accent different notes in there and just kind of do whatever I feel is appropriate. All right, and the third thing we're going to talk about is speed. Now, let's be honest. When we start playing drums, that's the first most attractive thing about the drums is playing fast, but it's the least important. So what I want you to do is play single stroke rolls as fast as you can. Use your fingers and wrist on your snare drum. Try to get them even, no accents. Use all fingers and wrist. All right, so after a while, you're going to start to burn out and your hands are going to get tired. You're going to start hearing inconsistencies with the rights and the lefts. Some notes might skip a little bit or start to feel a little bit weaker, and you're going to hear that, but that's just training your fingers and wrists to dial in each stroke to feel those patterns even keeled across the board. Then you can start throwing your accents in and throwing movement in after that. I hope you guys got something out of this video today. Remember to head over to drummer101.com, download that free reference guide, and I will see you guys later.